Hey guys, it's Tara from Raw Food Living, and today I am doing a one day juice cleanse. In this video, I'm going to talk about why I'm doing a one day juice cleanse and also show you guys all of the yummy juice recipes I'm making. I am here with my second juice of the day, which is a combination of celery, apple, and pears. And the reason I am doing a one day juice cleanse and the reason I got an idea to do a one day juice cleanse was because I haven't been feeling myself lately. I recently moved from Canada to Scandinavia and it's been a big change in my life and lately I've been feeling really heavy for weeks now. I wake up and I feel exhausted and I've slept a full 10 hours. My brain is all foggy during the day, I can't think properly, I have no motivation to do anything because I feel so tired all the time. And that is not how I'm used to feeling at all. I'm used to waking up feeling energized and vibrant and happy and ready to do anything with my day. And so this is very abnormal for me to feel this way. And I think it may be symptoms of candida. It might also be symptoms of just a huge overwhelming life change that I am trying to process. And one of my ways of processing this huge life change is to eat fattier foods, foods that ground me, foods and using food as a form of comfort. It's a legitimate thing. I have used food as a form of comfort for my entire life and that's what led to eating disorder behavior and food binges. And just because this is a regular pattern that I've had for most of my life doesn't mean that it's something I want to continue doing, which is using food as a form of comfort. I think it's important for me to experience the emotions that I am feeling and not try to numb them out with food because you can actually numb your emotions with food when you are feeling intense emotions. If you eat a really heavy meal, you're not going to feel those intense emotions anymore. And so, the purpose of this one day juice cleanse, with this delicious juice, is for me to really get into a calm place and accept that I am where I am and learn how to trust and let go of some of the anxiety and overwhelm that I've been experiencing. So I am going to be drinking three to four juices today. I bought a bunch of ingredients yesterday. I'm not following any specific recipes. I'm kind of just making it up as I go along based on my experience working in raw food restaurants and just my personal preferences of what I like to include in my juices. I'm going to share all of the recipes in the description below, but also in this video to show you all of the ingredients that I'm putting into these juices. It's not a fast or a feast. I'm not counting any calories. I don't really care about that. I just want to feel light and energized like I'm used to feeling. So let's see how it goes. All right, you guys, so I finished my breakfast this morning, which was a citrus juice. I feel so much better already. It was so delicious too. It was about 12 blood oranges and one grapefruit. And I actually didn't mean to buy blood oranges at the store. Usually I don't buy them uh, just because they're a little bit more sour. But I'm in Sweden and everything is in Swedish, so I actually didn't realize I was purchasing blood oranges until I opened them this morning. But either way, the juice was still really delicious and satisfying, and it was exactly what I needed. It was the feeling of lightness after a meal that I was going for. Because the last few weeks moving to Scandinavia, it's been a little overwhelming, and there's been a lot of stress with trying to find a job and a place to live, and it's been more challenging than what I expected it to be. So I've been going for more grounding, heavier foods, foods that are fattier and saltier, still raw, but I've just been feeling really heavy in my body and my mind has been so foggy and after one meal of just juice and it's now lunchtime a few hours after having my breakfast, 
I feel so much mental clarity. I feel so much sharper. I don't have the heaviness in my mind. I don't feel exhausted. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting it to kind of work its magic that quickly. So I'm really enthusiastic and excited. And now I'm about to have my lunch. Before I have my next juice, I'm going to have one of these smoothies from Fruge, and this is a popular brand in Scandinavia. I love these things. Fell in love with them in 2014 in the Faroe Islands. And this one is pineapple, banana, and coconut. Those are the three ingredients, that is it. And the reason I'm having a smoothie on my juice day is that I have done these days of having only juice before, and I know how they work for me. Generally speaking, I get so hungry, no matter how much juice I consume, that I end up binging later, and I'm looking to avoid that cycle. I'm not doing this for weight loss or anything like that, like I used to do. This is strictly for feeling better and feeling more normal in my body. So I still wanna be satisfied and satiated, but I also want to give my digestion a rest. That's why I'm having one of these little smoothies. So it is the evening and I'm hanging out here with Pepsi on the couch. Keep sleeping behind me. And today after lunch, after the apple, pear, and celery juice, I just wasn't craving any more juice. I just didn't have the desire to drink any more juice. So this afternoon all I had was some lightly sweetened tea, um, some green tea, and I just, I didn't want any more juice at all. Which is one of the reasons that I find that for me anyways, juice fasts and juice feasts are just simply not sustainable. Which is why I only ever choose to do them for one day because I just don't desire drinking all of my meals, whether it's a smoothie or a juice. And I know that juice fasts and juice feasts and smoothie cleanses and everything like that, they're really popular nowadays because people want instant gratification. They want instant results. But I wanna say one thing about those, and that is unless you feel called to do a juice cleanse or a smoothie cleanse, for any other reason other than weight loss, I really don't suggest that you do it. If your main focus is weight loss, focus on foods that are sustainable, where you feel like you're enjoying every single meal and you're not focusing on macronutrient ratios or calories or anything like that. Because I find for me, juice fasts and juice feasts and smoothie cleanses, they're another way for me to restrict my diet, or they have been in the past, which is why I rarely do them. This is the first day I've done only juice and probably three years because I just haven't had any reason to do it. Uh, today I did because I wanted to feel more mental clarity and that's exactly what I got. The improved digestion, the improved mental clarity. But really truly the focus should always be on sustainable foods, things that are going to make you feel satisfied and full and happy with what you're eating. I wish someone had told me that in the beginning of my raw food journey that that was really what was most important. So that's what I'm telling you guys today. And if you wanna see more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys wanna support the work I do here with Raw Food Living, you can go to my Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash rawfoodlivin'. Also, have a quick announcement. I was able to change my YouTube URL, so you can now find all of my videos at youtube.com slash rawfoodlivin'. And I will catch you guys next time.